everyone and welcome to my new video which is all about how I use my travel journal. I've been using this journal since June and if you would like to see how I set it up I will link the video in the end screen so you can watch that after this video. The notebook that I'm using is the bullet journal edition 2 but you could use any kind of notebook for this purpose as well. I like to make a planning spread for my longer trips in bigger cities where there are more things to see and this spread is very useful if I'm going to visit the city again because I can see which things I've already checked out and I can also remember the names of my favorite restaurants for example. The way I travel journal is quite different compared to my bullet journal style because I make these spreads without sketching anything beforehand and I also like to use stickers, papers and washi tapes instead of drawing. I do this because it's a lot quicker and also a good way to use up some stationery that I have collected over the years. My main goal is not to make very aesthetic looking spread, as this journal is more for having fun and exploring different type of journaling style. And I have to say that I've been enjoying it a lot because there isn't that kind of pressure that I sometimes have for bullet journaling. Probably because I don't make any kinds of cohesive things in this journal. If you don't have a travel journal, you could totally make these kinds of spreads in your bullet journal too. And I can highly recommend this kind of journaling style where you just add some random things in paper without any kind of plan. As it gets you in this kind of flow where you are just having fun. Or well, that has been my experience so far. I don't usually make cover pages in this journal, but now I really wanted to try out something different and decided to make one. I'm quite new to making collages, so making this was more difficult than I thought, and I had to play around with the placement of the different elements quite a lot to get the look I wanted. As always, I have listed all the supplies that I used in the description, so check that out if you are interested in some of them. These girl stickers for example are from La Dolce Vita Studio and I tried to pick ones that suited the winter season as I was going on this trip in the beginning of November which is basically a winter month here in Finland. Now I'm setting up a page where I will write things I would like to check out on my trip and to make this a bit more interesting, I used these craft paper frames that I found from a local bookstore and at this point my glue roller ran out of tape, so I had to use a glue stick instead. If you are interested in making collages and don't have glue tape, I highly recommend getting one, as it makes attaching photos and other stuff so much easier and you don't get glue all over your notebook or fingers, which is a nice bonus as well. I love food, so I'm always the most excited about trying out new restaurants when I'm traveling. Because I'm a vegan, it's sometimes difficult for me to find a restaurant that has food that I can eat, so I always like to do some research before the trip and write out a list of restaurants I would like to try out. My sister used to live in Helsinki, so I actually asked for some recommendations from her, and also checked out some Facebook groups where people have written their favorites. Anyway, I would love to hear what's one thing that you are looking forward to the most when traveling, so let me know in the comments. In the bottom of the frame I wrote some other places to check out in Helsinki, like art museums, cafes and stationery stores, of course. If you have visited Helsinki, I would love to hear about your favorite places, so let me know in the comments which those are. I will talk more about the places I saw a little bit later. Now I am just finishing up the empty spaces by adding some decorations like the same washi tape that I used on the page on the left. It's from the washi tape shop and I actually have a discount code for them, which you can find in the description box. These cake stickers are from Oak Monica, and I will also leave a link to her Etsy shop below. I found that the ink that I use for stamping dries quite slowly, so I added this piece of paper to prevent it from transferring on the page on the left. Packing for the trip is something that I find a bit stressful, so to make my life a little bit easier, I like to include a packing list in my travel journal setup. 
I use the same packing list for all my trips and because of that I will always use a pencil to mark down the things that I've packed so I can later erase them and use this list again. Next I'm going to show you how I use my travel journal after the trip and the reason why I like to journal after the trip is that I can print photos and also take my time when journaling and on top of that I don't have to bring a huge stationary collection with me which makes my backpack a lot lighter. I always like to take photos when I'm traveling so I can use them for decorating the journal and having photos with the text makes it easier to remember the things you saw and did during the trip. While I was in Helsinki I went to an art museum called Amos Rex and took this little notebook with me which had some information about the exhibition we saw. I couldn't attach the whole notebook in my travel journal as that would have made it way too chunky so I decided to cut out the front cover of it to make this little pocket where I can store some photos and receipts. I really love how it turned out and I think these kinds of pockets are really fun to add in your journal as you can also store some more private information in there. Anyway, the exhibition we saw was called The Quiet Parade and it was really beautiful with all the sculptures. If you are curious about the artist, it's written down in the pocket. I don't know how their last name is pronounced, so I'm not going to try. I can highly recommend checking out this museum and exhibition if you ever travel to Helsinki. I believe they change the exhibitions every six months, so this might not be there for that long. But I've seen photos of their previous exhibitions and they looked really interesting as well. When I was making these spreads I didn't make everything in chronological order and instead I picked some of my favorite photos and built the spread around those. I was staying at my friend's place on this trip and we did a little walking tour in the city. We saw this beautiful old church called Uspenskin Cathedral, and I really loved the architecture and the old paintings in the ceiling so I included photos of that in this setup. I'm not a religious person but I still find churches and especially the old ones really beautiful. To add a little bit more texture to the spread I glued this textured craft paper on the top of the page and decided to write the hair on a white piece of paper so it would stand out more. I used a Tomball Dual Press Pen to write the header and it was really fun to write with it as I usually don't use it for headers in my bullet journal. And I picked this pretty orange color which went well with the red shades in one of the photos and I think it suited the craft paper well too. When I'm setting up these memory pages in my travel journal I like to start off with the decorations because it's easier to place them when the page is still empty. And I learned this technique from Amanda Waits Lee's Skillshare class I took earlier this year and it really helped me to get started with my travel journal even though the class was more about art journaling. This video is not sponsored by the way but I wanted to mention this class still because I found it really helpful. I felt like this spread had a little bit too much writing space so I added this girl sticker with a camera on the bottom which I thought was perfect because I spent the whole day walking around in Helsinki taking photos. For the writing I decided to use this burgundy gel pen from Zebra Sarasa Vintage Set that I bought a couple of months ago and I'm really glad that I decided to buy these pens as I really enjoy using them in my travel journal and using a different color for the writing instantly makes the spread more interesting in my opinion. I always write in Finnish when I'm journaling as that's my native language so most of you probably can't read what I've written here. But in case you are interested I just wrote about our walk and also the weather which was getting really cold and windy. By the way if you didn't know Helsinki is actually the capital city of Finland so I didn't have to travel that far. I mean, the train ride took almost 6 hours, so it was a long time to sit in a train, but I didn't have to leave the country, you know. After I was done with the writing, I added some washi tapes and stickers on the places that looked empty, and I actually used some stickers that I made myself. I don't have my own shop yet, so they are not for sale at the moment, 
but hopefully will be sometime in the future. By the way, my parents' dog is in the same room <laughs> as I'm recording, so if you can hear him, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. There's so, so many things to figure out before I can open my own shop, and I feel like my perfectionism always kicks in when I design something I might sell someday. But anyway, lastly I just put this receipt in the pocket. I decided to make another spread just so I could use the rest of the photos I had, and there were also some other things that happened that I wanted to remember from my trip. As the food lover that I am, I wanted to document the two delicious restaurant meals I had on this trip, and I also wanted to use up this postcard that I bought from Amos Rex. I actually made these spreads a couple weeks after the trip because I had to work on my December plan with me after I got home, and inspired by my December theme, I decided to do a little flip note from the postcard so I would have a little bit more room to write. I will link the plan with me in the description so you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I wanted the postcard to be the main focus on the spread so I hit the food photos under it. Because it had been a couple of weeks since I took this trip, I couldn't remember everything in detail and knew I wouldn't write that much in the spread, so I decided to cover basically the half of it with this printed book page. I would love to buy an actual old book that I could tear apart, even though it would probably feel very wrong, as I've never tore books, and I feel like they are supposed to be just for reading. <laughs> I would love to hear which books you use for this purpose, like do you buy books just to tear them apart or do you tear the ones that you already own? Anyway, I chose two photos from my trip that had kind of similar vibes. The first one is from a cafe where I actually met Tina from Tina's Diary, and she is just as lovely in person as she is in social media. It was really fun to meet her and we had a lot of things to talk about. You should definitely go check out Tina's YouTube channel if you haven't already and I will leave a link to that in the description. The second photo was taken when I saw two of my old classmates and we had this delicious banana bread that my friend made. I really enjoyed seeing them as well as we hadn't seen a such a long time as we live quite far away from each other these days. <laughs> For the decorations I again just added some stickers that I made, and I really like how the pink sweater turned out. With digital illustration it can be difficult to make them look organic and not too computer-like if that makes sense, and that's the thing I've been struggling the most when drawing digitally, because textures can look nice on my iPad, but when I print the illustration it looks a bit messy. Anyway, I played around with different fonts a little bit when I filled this page with writing and I really like how it ended up looking. As a last step, I just added some more stickers and washi tapes, and the brown one is from Notebook Therapy Vintage Rose Collection and the pink grid one is from the washi tape shop. I also wrote a little bit more under the postcard but cut that part out of the video, as this video would have been pretty long otherwise, but you'll see that from the final flip through. I accidentally scratched the postcard with my fingernail when I tried to rub off the excess glue tape from it, so I ended up adding some stickers on top of that as well to cover it up. Now it's time for the final flip through of all the spreads that I made in this video so you can see them a little bit better. I had a lot of fun when making these spreads, and I also like how they look a little bit different because I didn't have a theme for all of them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as well and maybe found some inspiration or new ideas for your own journal. One thing I forgot to say is that all my trips so far have been pretty short, and if I would travel for a longer period of time, I would probably journal more during this trip as well, and to use more stuff like tickets and maps for decorating. This trip to Helsinki, for example, was just a weekend trip, so it made more sense to make these spreads when I got back home. Anyway, let me know if you would like to see more travel journal videos in the future, and remember to leave a like and a butterfly emoji if you enjoyed this video and made it till the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!